Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me for New Bedford Wellness Initiative. My name is Michelle Corsato and thank you again for tuning in last video when we made the salmon cakes. You overall thought that was a great recipe and I do hope you all try that one. So I figured for March we'd wrap up and do crab cakes. I have a super easy crab cake recipe, uh, 98 calories per crab cake. So I think that's something definitely that we want to be mindful of transitioning um, into spring and eating later and just um, kind of keeping our, and mindful thoughts about what we're putting into our body. I recently got into eating seafood in the last 10 years. I don't eat everything, but I've, you, I eat fish, I love the salmon cakes, and I really enjoy eating crab cakes when I go out. So today I ended up purchasing right at Shaw's uh, the bumblebee lump crab. So this is a six ounce can, it was $5.99. They had imitation crab meat, but I didn't want to use that for today's recipe. I thought I'd try to keep it real as possible and went with the lump crab. I know there is pink as well as white crab meat. Whatever you prefer, just make that for your friends and family. Uh, again, this recipe is super easy. You need to have two six ounce cans, so 12 ounces of your crab meat. I had some green onions that I chopped up, purchased again at Shaw's. They came like this in a bundle. I chopped them up, as you can see. I went ahead and grabbed some parsley here and again, chopped that up. One egg I beat up, it's ready to go. So for the breadcrumbs, you're gonna, I'm gonna use pan crumb. I'm gonna try to keep it as real as possible with this recipe. If you wanna do like we did prior, maybe toast your bread, trim off the ends, and then use that as your breadcrumb, or maybe not, it's completely up to you. If you wanna use a cracker, again, your discretion. A little sriracha, we're gonna have that for some additional heat. And I have very light uh, mayonnaise here which will act as a good binding with the egg. And then finally, I have a fresh lemon. So we're gonna use this lemon on in our mixture and as well as after when your crab cakes are ready, if you wanna do a little lemon zest on that, go right at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing everything into this one bowl, which is great about this recipe. It's a one bowl thing. You mix it all up together. Um, last time we cooked together, we did use my air crisp, but today I figured we would do this in the oven at 375 for 15 to 20 minutes. Or if you want to sear them, you can use your cast iron and you're going to want to really heat this up well with some olive oil. And you will have to monitor this more so than in your oven. You don't want it to be too brown or too crispy. So again, um, they're equal time 15 minutes depending if you want to sear them in the oven. And again, your air fryer will probably be less than that, more of nine or 10 minutes. So I'm going to go right ahead and get into our making our actual crab cake mixture. So this one can, it's nice because inside it, as you can see, um, there's the crab and it has a little paper around it, which makes it nice. Um, so there's nothing to worry about. I just shook out my paper, put in my crab meat, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this other one here. I just wanna bring to your attention, there was nothing as um, little bones or any shells into this crab meat as in the salmon had little bones I did have to pick out. So as you can see, this is the lump crab. It's pretty good looking. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my wet first, which is my mayonnaise. I'll put that in one corner. Then I'm gonna add in the sriracha. Again, optional, whatever you wanna put in, you can flip it up. It will change the nutritional value um, of your crab cake dough. Next is my egg. I'm gonna put in right over here. And then I'm gonna start putting in my dry. So my panko, I'll add right here. The yummy green onions will go on top. And then I'm gonna put in the parsley. So as you can see, it does look pretty. Nice colorful green in there, little red. And then I'm just gonna take my lemon, which is a fresh one, or you could use lemon juice in the bottle, whatever you prefer, and just drizzle a little bit on top of that. So for your dry ingredients, so your salt and pepper, again, that is completely optional. If you're into, you wanna have more flavor, you can add your salt. I'm just gonna use pepper for now. And then also when they come right out the oven, I like to top it off with a little bit of cracked pepper. 
And as you all know, I'm really mindful about the sodium content of what I cook because I do share with my mom and dad. Um, and I will add occasional, like a, a sodium-free, salt-free product like a Mrs. Dash or any other store you can find this product in if I want to enhance the flavor to this recipe. So everything is in here. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to wear gloves again and mix up my crab cake ingredients. So this recipe, depending on how big and thick you're going to make your crab cakes, it says it will yield about 10. I did the recipe earlier and I did only 9, but I used the fourth of a cup measuring. So um, depending again what size you want, you can have a bigger crab cake or a smaller one. Um, it just depends if you're serving it as an appetizer or a meal or maybe putting it into a lettuce sandwich and making a crab cake sandwich. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove my trash for one second, excuse me, and I'm going to get in mixing it. So I wear gloves just because I really want to get in, I really want to make a nice, well mixed bunch of crab cake here. So I'm just scooping from the bottom, incorporating it like a rake on top and pressing it into so everything gets mixed in here well. The fresh parsley smells amazing with the lemon. It's going to be a very nice and light type of crab cake. Um, you can add green peppers, red peppers, even the yellow ones if you wish to. But I think this is pretty much keeping it simple and quick, depending on how much time you really have um, to put into the preparation part of it. The prep itself was less than 10 minutes for me. Um, and again, the 15 minutes that my crab cakes are cooking in the oven, it allowed me to do something in that downtime. So right here, it looks pretty good. I got everything mixed in well. And that's how it's going to be. I'm just going to slide this over. And then I'm going to go ahead and start. I have already sprayed my pan with olive oil spray. And here's the part where it's fun, that we're just gonna basically pack in a fourth in here, pack it in really good. And then I'm just gonna scoop it out and just reform it if I need to. And that's gonna be one of my servings of my little crab cakes. I'm just going to reform it a little bit. And as you can see, you can see the pieces of the onion as well as the parsley in there. Just going to give it a good squeeze, take off the excess, and then here we go. So you're going to go ahead and do all this once you get about your 9 to 10 patties, depending on how big a scoop you're using. Um, I give them a little pat as I put them inside the cookie sheet, or on the cookie sheet actually, and that way they won't be as dense when they're cooking. Because I do want to flip them probably five to six minutes into cooking them in the oven, you're going to want to give them a little flip, because I want each side to have a nice brown sear on it. And then ideas of making this and um, serving it, it's always nice. You can put it with greens. That'll be great. Um, it always tastes good when you drizzle the lemon over your lettuce leaves, maybe an arugula. Or if you're not into that arugula, if it's too bitter for you, uh, perhaps you may want to um, use a romaine, which is a nice lettuce too. Well, I did think I'm going to get maybe, I think I made them a little bit thicker in this batch, but that's okay. Probably going to get eight. Some look a little bit more fuller than the others, but again, it's okay. They're made with love, so it's all good. I'm just packing my final batch in here. I have my oven already preheated today to 375. Yeah, here we go. So that is exactly, I have eight out of my batch here. I'm going to pat them down like you would be doing a cookie. Make them a little bit flatter. The pan is nice and greased with some olive oil spray. So this is ready to go. So again, I'm going to put these in my oven for 375. 
around 15, 20 minutes. I like to cook them for, um, I do want like a nice little brown on both sides. So in they go. Put the timer on, 15 minutes. And when your product is done, this is how delicious they're gonna come out. I put mine on a little bed of arugula. Each patty came out beautiful, nice and crisp on both sides. They are soft, they're delicious. This will be wonderful for maybe an appetizer for Easter dinner if you're gonna do that, or pretty much any time you can make this easy, quick crab cake. So I do hope you'll try this. Do take care, have a wonderful week, and we'll be in touch soon. Bye.